Bong Joon-ho's Parasite slated for HBO show, but we know Bong Joon-ho stunned audiences in 2019 with his thrilling masterpiece about poverty and class differences, Parasite. It won a deserved Golden Globe for Best Motion Picture, Foreign Language, and it seems that Parasite isn't finished there. In fact, Bong Joon-ho and HBO recently revealed that Parasite will be serialized in a television adaptation, but perhaps not in the way fans might expect. Here's what's been revealed so far. Parasite has more stories to tell Parasite has been widely recognized as an intricate and darkly funny tragedy detailing class difference as portrayed by a struggling Korean family that works its way into a wealthy family's home. However, Bong Joon-ho says there are more stories to tell when it comes to Parasite. As reported by Deadline, Bong explained, with Parasite, while I was writing the script I have so many more ideas I couldn't convey into the two-hour running time of the film. I knew that if I had a longer running time, I would be able to tell these stories, and that's what I plan to talk about with Adam McKay pretty soon the acclaimed director went on to add that Fanny and Alexander was proof that a television series could continue to tell a film story. He said, though I'm not very familiar with the TV industry, I really consider this limited series an expanded film that can delve deeper into the stories that didn't make it into Parasite. While this is thrilling news for fans of the director's work, there has been some concern about whether or not the feeling of the story will change under different leadership, and whether or not it will be in English, starring white actors. Bong Joon-ho explained that it's still very much in the early stages. I'll soon meet with Adam to talk about the setup. For now, a lot of things are open while Adam McKay and HBO. When it comes to a television adaptation of his work, Bong Joon-ho's reasons for picking Adam McKay and HBO. It turns out the Parasite director respects Adam McKay quite a bit. I really liked Adam McKay's The Big Short and I loved his sense of humor and the sharp satire he conveyed about the current American politics, said Bong Joon-ho, as reported by Deadline. The director added, Adam McKay and HBO have created the amazing show Succession, so they're very reliable and amazing partners to have Bong Joon-ho's historic Oscar nominations. Meanwhile, Bong Joon-ho isn't finished reaping the rewards of his astounding work just yet. In fact, he's seen some historic nominations for Oscars already. Parasite has been nominated for Best Picture, the first Korean film to ever receive the nomination. Parasite and Bong Joon-ho were also nominated for Best Director, International Film, and Original Screenplay, as well as a nomination for Editing and Production Design. Bong Joon-ho explained that international films are becoming more accessible to watchers worldwide, who are also becoming more willing to read subtitles. He said, I think this was the case not only for the US but for most countries including Korea, where audiences mainly watch domestic films or Hollywood blockbusters. It wasn't very common for diverse films to cross continents and access different audiences. But I think audiences are opening up to these films and the fact that this Korean language film was nominated for Oscars and was really embraced by US audiences reflects that change of attitude. It's sort of like a proof for how audiences are opening up. Fans are canceling Vince Vaughn after his latest encounter with President Donald Trump. Vince Vaughn is no stranger to controversy, but he came under fire like never before after he was seen with President Donald Trump. On Jan. 13, Vaughn was spotted talking to and shaking hands with the president, triggering immediate and widespread criticism. Some fans view his encounter with Trump as a betrayal and say that Vaughn is now cancelled more on what happened between Vince Vaughn and President Donald Trump on Jan. 13, Vaughn and Trump sat together at the 2020 college football national championship game between the LSU Tigers and Clemson Tigers. They were also joined by First Lady Melania Trump, who sat in between the two men in a video posted to Twitter by journalist Timothy Burke. Bong and Trump can be seen engaging in a friendly conversation before shaking hands. As the conversation comes to a close, Trump is shown giving Vaughn a loving pat on his hand. I'm very sorry to have to share this video with you. All of it, every part of it, Burke caption a video Twitter reacts to Vince Vaughn and President Donald Trump's interaction. Some Twitter users believe that Vaughn should have used the moment to take a stand against Trump, who has been deemed a racist, xenophobe, misogynist, and more. They didn't hesitate to share their feelings and quickly called out the dodgeball actor. Someone else noted that they weren't angry about Vince Vaughn, just profoundly disappointed that Vaughn continued, and I want nothing more to do with him. Once upon a time I found him quite entertaining. Not any more others, however, swept to one's defense, with one person tweeting. If anyone is mad at Vince Vaughn for having a conversation with the president at a sporting event last night, they are the problem. Civility is something that needs to come back in America. Having a conversation with someone does not make you a criminal. Another wrote, it's an amazing time to be alive when shaking the hand of the president is enough to get you cancelled. Vince Vaughn doesn't strike me as one to give a SHT fortunately. You all have lost your minds.
You never learn Vince Vaughn, showed the sitting president the proper respect, tweeted another. The rest of Hollywood should learn from Vince Vaughn why this isn't surprising Vaughn is openly conservative. He supported many Republicans in the past, including former Representative Ron Paul and Senator Brent Paul. I've always been more conservative than not, Vaughn said in a 2013 interview on The Atom Carroll Show. It's also not the first time he's faced backlash over political matters. In 2015, Vaughn came under fire for his stance on gun control. Speaking to British GQ, the Wedding Crashers actor said, Banning guns is like banning forks in an attempt to stop making people fatty added that firearms should be allowed in schools. With all this in mind, it's really no surprise that Vaughn was so friendly with Trump The Witcher showrunner reflects on Season 1 and teases Season 2 The Witcher Season 1 is already released on Flix. It's a hit with many fantasy fans. Season 2 of The Witcher is not coming yet but showrunner Lauren schmidt Hisrick has teased some details in a new interview. We don't to find out what the showrunner thinks of the reaction to the first season and what will develop in season 2 What did Lauren schmidt Hisrick think of the reaction to The Witcher? The Witcher side of Indian Intelligence interviewed showrunner Lauren schmidt Hisrick. This entire past month has been so surreal, she says. Hisrick mentions watching the earliest impressions of the show come and she can hardly put it into words. The speechlessness is rare for her. One thing that hasn't changed, she says, is her interactions with fans. She made a conscious decision to be involved with the fan base from the beginning. Hisrick has worked hard to maintain that level of honesty and trust with fans through all stages of production. She feels like it's a responsibility to read accolades and critiques, to interact with joyous fans, and also fans who have concerns. She always wants to keep upping our in the writer's game this way. The show can continue resonating with audiences. Hisrick is very proud of what the team created on The Witcher. However, that doesn't mean we can't keep learning and improving, too.